Poor, Poor Luisa, a short story by Dean Francis Alfar. When summer ended, it was time for Luisa to attend her new school. Luisa told her mother that she was afraid to go. Her mother assured her that she'll make new friends, but she imagined that no one would talk to her. Poor, poor Luisa. On the morning of the first day of school, after she kissed her mother goodbye, but before the school bus came to pick her up, Luisa rushed through her room. She took a mop and this was her new hair. She borrowed her father's old pair of thick glasses and this became her new eyes. She squeezed a tube of blue sparkly toothpaste all over her face and this was her new face. She filled a small bag with vegetables and wore it on her back under her clothes and this was her new body. So it was a blue-faced hunchback with stringy hair and thick glasses that Luisa boarded the school bus for a new school. Poor, poor Luisa. The classroom was filled with children and Luisa quietly took her seat, keeping her eyes on the floor. To Luisa's left, was a green-faced girl with spaghetti hair and donuts on her eyes. To Luisa's right was a chocolate-coated girl with two halves of a coconut shell on her head. Behind Luisa sat a girl covered in bright yellow banana peels with pillowcases for feet. And in front of Luisa was another girl completely covered up by a pink shower curtain. And no one... No one was talking or looking at anyone else. Luisa was confused by her strange and quiet classmates. Poor, poor Luisa. When the bell rang for recess time, all the children walked into the school's garden. Curious about how everyone looked and having nowhere else to go, Luisa followed them. The odd children stood in the sunlight, not looking at other. Luisa waited for someone to talk, but no one did. Poor, poor Luisa. Finally, Luisa decided to be the first to say something. They were all surprised. Luisa asked, why were they all wearing strange things on their faces, heads, bodies, and feet? No one answered her question. Poor, poor Luisa. But she really wanted to know, so she asked again if they can tell her. The green-faced girl with spaghetti hair said that she's strange herself. The chocolate-coated girl agreed as she nodded. The girl covered in bright yellow banana peels said Luisa should look at herself on the mirror. The girl, completely covered up by a pink shower curtain, just mumbled. Luisa remembered what she had put on herself. Luisa took off the stringy mop, her father's old pair of thick glasses, the small sack filled with vegetables, and wiped off the spice. She introduced herself again. The other children looked at her and at each other in silence. Luisa suddenly felt very shy and afraid. She began to walk away. Poor, poor Luisa. But the girl stopped her. And to Luisa's amazement, the other children shook out and took off and wiped away all the different things they had put on their faces, heads, bodies, and feet. Stood four young girls. Jen was the name of the first girl. Lena was the second girl, Nikki the third girl, and Kate the fourth girl. Luisa was happy and so was the other girls. When Luisa got home, her mother asked her about her first day of school. She said that it was weird and creepy at first, but she made new friends. Her mother smiled as if she knew that she would make new friends.